Once your survey starts getting responses, Vertical Response provides you with robust reporting to track those responses. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to use the summary, list, and individual sections of your reporting. The summary report gives you a breakdown of all the responses you've received. You'll either see a heat map or a pie chart, depending on the type of question involved. A really great feature of your reporting is that you can filter your results. One way to filter them is to click on a percentage link in a heat map. This will bring up just those people who gave that specific response. You can then view each of their individual answers to your entire survey. Or, if you go back to the summary area, you'll see that your summary report is now filtered to give you just those responses provided by the people who chose the answer you selected. On the screen right now, you can see that I'm able to see exactly how every single person who chose cookies and cream as their favorite ice cream responded to the rest of my survey. If you look to the left at the filter section, you can see that the response I chose a moment ago is now saved as a filter. You can use this filter area to stack as many filters as you like. So you could add a second, third, or even fourth filter here to further drill down into your results. Once you've chosen your filters, they will apply to the summary, list, and individual areas as you move between them. You can easily delete filters as needed by clicking the red delete icon. Also keep in mind that you can export this data from your account or into your list section by either printing, downloading a PDF or CSV, or by creating a new mailing list. These export options will also reflect whatever filters you have in place.